Maggie, come here, girl. Runsetter crime scene. Your floor number, please. Roof. Does this badge mean anything to you? Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Yuck. Totally uninteresting. Totally uninteresting. Locked. 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 One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. 
Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. One more thing. I've told you everything I know, Detective. I gotta work. These monitors don't watch themselves. Yeah, it's a tough gig. Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? I couldn't even begin to guess what Eisendeller's password was. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Wrong again, and this time I was locked out. Tyrell security was even better than I'd heard. This hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here, the babe with the shades and the cigarettes. 
Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spawn anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. Disgusting. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. The detonator wire. The dog collar has a name of Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? Nothing. Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still fitting the pieces together. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Gaff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your case. Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. <laughs> <laughs>
You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? The rogue skin jobs pro- This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendoller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> yeah, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay, how do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. A 
bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. 
Clue database transfer complete. The earring was shaped like an e The dog collar the dog collar has a name on it. Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess, he's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer. Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. Most of the employees they... Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. Hey. What are you doing here, Slim? You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I didn't know the Rastafarian. The Asian fellow was one of our ex-members. Izo was his name. How long did you know him for? Let's see. I met him about five years ago. He seemed so smart and balanced. He really wanted to help the replicant people. Then what? He started associating with the more militant factions. I was astounded when I heard he was supplying weapons to some of them. What kind of weapons? Guns so new that even the police had hardly used them, I heard. I got some more questions for you. Lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir. We're growing fast. 
As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, Detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective. She already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care... Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. What do you do for a living? I teach political science. What's your name? Spencer Gregorian. I really think my lawyer should be here. Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. I'd call animal services, of course. I wouldn't try to move it myself, not without proper equipment. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught and your father spanks you. Well, it sounds like I deserved it. But my father didn't believe in corporal punishment. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. I'd leave. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand, when all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. You reach down and flip the tortoise on its back. I wouldn't do that. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun beating its legs, trying to turn itself over. But it can't. Not without your help. But you're not helping. Why is that? You bastard. They're just... I want to see my attorney. Now! When I'm done. Maybe. Test terminated. Hey, pal. Laboratory.